Good morning and welcome to PBNJ Craft. This is Gabriel, uh, also known as Patrick1942, and this is episode three of the Skyblock Challenge. Um, so back here in the island and getting set up again. So yesterday, uh, in yesterday's episode, if you recall, uh, we ended with unsuccessfully lighting the portal, and I looked it up online. Uh, how to do it. I was setting up wrong. So that's the current setup that I just put down there. And uh, in a few minutes, we'll head down there and it'll be lit. So it took me a while to get that going. You see there's pumpkin up now. So it takes a little while for uh, the watermelon and, um, and pumpkin stems to grow. And that's the advantage of having it on water. I didn't realize this, but you can actually grow those without water. It just it just takes longer. Um, so the water speeds up the process, um, which is nice. And, and when you have the lack of food, as you do early in Skyblock, that helps. The bone meal also helps. I think I might have used bone meal on the stems. So you can see I've, I've got... Um, I accidentally logged out there, I believe. Um, I think that's why it said I left and joined again. Um, nice sunset there up in the east. Actually, watching the day changing at s speed is a lot nicer. Um, it's kind of pretty. And the stars coming out. How nice. Um, so I, I might have used bone meal on this. I can't remember. Uh, but it turns out that you don't actually need to do that, which is good to know. Um, they will grow eventually just on blocks. At least that's, that's, my, under, that's my understanding. Uh, I, I saw Zisto do that in a video. Um, so, so there's that. Uh, if you don't know, I think, I think I may have mentioned it in a prior video, um, but you need to be 23 blocks away for mobs to spawn. So I, I built, even though it's wastes a lot of time walking. Uh, oh, I just went to the nether um, and then came back. And you see me, I just like flew up in the sky. I have no idea what happened there. Um, the game got confused. I just went quickly went in the nether, got the stuff in the chest there, and I'm back out. As I was saying, it wastes a lot of time running back and forth there, especially when you're not playing things sped up. But mobs only spawn when they're more than on blocks 23, more than 23 blocks away from the player. That is much more than 23 blocks uh, away, that little mob spawning hut I have there. Um, but it was already somewhat, u I'd already built part of that to get out to the sand island. And there's no sense in wasting in wasting bricks. So now I'm measuring the distance to make sure I'm 23 blocks away from both. So I, I, I went halfway between both my grass island, my original island, and my mob hut. And I'm building a more efficient, um, more efficient cobblestone generator. So over there I'm making, on top of the mob hut, building a infinite spring a four block or two by two infinite spring. A um, little creeper explosion there. Luckily I survived. Um, so the idea is, it, one of the things I'd like to, I'm hoping happens sooner rather than later, is I want animals to start spawning on the island. And once I get them on the island, I'll have to get them off relatively quickly so that there's more room. But animals will only spawn on the grass. So I want to build that more efficient cobblestone generator on the center island so that I can take down my less efficient generator on the original island and make that just a grass, just a grass platform so that animals will spawn there. Just moving around to the other side there so you can see me at work. It's kind of small, um, but you can see me working in there. So now I'm the lava's in the center and the water's on either side of it so it's breaking cobblestone in 
two columns, or creating cobblestone in two columns instead of just one. Nice little sunrise. Moving around again so you can see me uh, at the generator, uh, or sorry, at the at the mob hut. Uh, one of the things that I want to do is not lose any grass blocks because the more grass blocks I have, the better my chances of spawning passive mobs, farm animals. And so uh, underneath there, you can see just a little bit, I've started to build the um, the a, a layer underneath the grass so that if anything happens, those grass blocks won't fall through. I think at this point I've lost three. So of the original, there was 80 originally. I'm down to 77, I believe, uh, there on the platform. Some those have fallen through, um, which, is, which is pretty good. To only lose three grass, or sorry, dirt. To only lose three dirt, that's not bad. That's pretty good. This is good to know. I did not know the visibility was so bad um, when it's snowing. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, as cool as the snow is, it's, it's kind of a nice effect in the game. Um, at least it's not loud. The rain is so loud. Uh, I'm still over there killing, killing mobs. Um, they're on my mob hut. Um, let's see, we got a couple minutes left here. Uh, you'll notice I started a basic cactus farm. Um, look at that piece of lava falling down in there. I don't know how that got out. Maybe I'm. I might have moved. Mine. I'm. It's my viewer screen as I'm voicing over, is lagging a little bit. So I might have moved to the center thing now. You might know that better than I do. Uh, oh, you can also see I've built a bed uh, there on. I don't think I mentioned that there my platform, which I'm now evening out. You see, I've I flattened it out, got rid of my old um, generator. And I'm going to be moving things to a platform in the center. Because um, I want that to be just a space for for passive mob spawning. Fenced it around so that none of my animals would fall off if I wasn't there. Um, you know, or, or if, I mean, I, I guess I have to not be there in order for them to spawn. So building a fence around it so that they won't fall off while I'm away. Um, just working on covering up the bottom of that platform a little bit, giving myself a little uh, help so I don't fall off. So just alternating tasks. But you see I started a little bit of cactus growth there. Um, I'm going to increase the size of the cactus farm in not this episode, but I think the next one. Uh, sorry, no, not next episode, but the one after that. Um, get a little, mo little more cacti spawning. Uh, one, one of the things you see I don't have yet, which for me is usually an early on task, is to build a drop chamber, a, a mob spawning drop chamber. But I, uh, in the past when I've attempted Skyblock, I've done that sooner, and this time I wanted to I'm, I wanted to put my time into making sure the uh, my, my my passive mob spawning grass island was ready sooner uh, because that's one of the kind of thing that takes a lot of time uh, that that's hard to make up for. Um, made some more space now for trees, so you see I've got trees growing a little faster now. Uh, which is nice. Um, I'm going to need a lot of wood. Uh, just not, I mean, you need wood for tools and stuff, but I have some cool ideas for wood builds that I want to make. So we're coming up to the end, uh, close to the end here. In the next video, there wasn't a question for this video. Uh, I kind of got this idea from Vex, not totally, but a little bit I got the idea from Vex of having a question each video. Um, and so in the first video I asked if you liked this style of recording. In the second video I think I 
I might have asked if you think I should cut anything uh, as opposed to keeping everything in. Um, and so in this video, I'm not sure what to ask. In the next video, the next video is going to actually be at 20 times speed, and I'm going to spend uh, the whole video mining cobblestone. It's going to be very boring, but I'm going to start to talk about uh, some of the different ideas that I have planned for this, the different projects that I'll need cobblestone for. So we'll do a little more anticipation and theorizing for what uh, what things will be like. It's hard to see on the other side of my cobblestone generator there. I've built a little platform with a chest on it. Um, chest, bed, crafting table, furnace uh, to move my base so that I can be away from where the, the passive mobs will be spawning. Okay, well that's it for today. I'm out just checking tools. You can see I've got everything there and I will see you later. Make it a great day.